Hello, my name is Olivia Caper, and today I would like to walk you through my self-improvement project. For me, the purpose was to really focus on improving my mental health as it is a huge part of my overall well-being. Since I have been struggling with mental health and emotional health for quite some time, I thought that now would be the perfect time to start improving and freeing my mind. So before this project, I was having stress attacks pretty much daily because of the amount of stress I was putting myself through. So that is why I will fo be focusing on meditating to reduce this number of stress attacks. That is how I'm going to measure my improvement through SMART goals, is tracking how frequently I would get those stress attacks. I just felt like I needed a portion of the day to focus on myself and think about nothing. If I'm able to reduce the number of stress attacks I have from to two or three a week, I will definitely be able to focus more on completing my schoolwork rather than stressing about completing it. So here's my timeline over the eight weeks we had to improve. As you can see by my initial timeline, it is eight weeks worth of increasing and bettering my meditation, stretching, breathing, and living state. As time progressed, I wanted to give myself more time to decompress after a long day. I want to note that between weeks 6 and 7, spring break happened, so during that time, I spent a lot of, t of my time relaxing, and at week 7, back at school, I returned to my daily routine. So week 1, these are my pre-results. Here I have a very short time-lapse clip showing me meditating after class on February 14. The week when this proposal was due, I had 6 stress attacks that week, so I definitely needed this meditation. After week one, I really didn't see any results because I really only gave myself two minutes to myself to just stop and relax. As you can see, that week I have a red X for every day that I had a stress attack and it was still six. Here are some of my mid-plan results. I started this Headspace plan on the last week of February for guided meditation and it really helped me because I was a little lost at points trying to meditate by myself. Here next to it, you can also see me having less stress attacks as time goes on, but as you can also see, the progression is not always linear. Finally, these are my post results for the last two weeks of the program. These two weeks, I only had two stress attacks both weeks, which is a giant improvement. Here's a shortened clip of my final meditation yoga stretching session. You can't really see any physical differences, but mentally and emotionally, I was and am doing so much better. As you can see by the number of X's on the calendar, I have improved a lot, and I hope to maintain these numbers to a maximum of three a week. So here I have some of my resources that really helped me learn about meditation and what me time can do for you and they really helped me move along in this journey. So overall, my goal for this project was to reduce the number of stress attacks I was having through meditation and yoga. I was able to meet my goal and reduce the number of stress attacks I had from five or six down to about two or three. I learned that improvement is never linear and through meditation, increasing me time in my daily routine can really improve my mental health. Moving forward, I plan to spend about 30 minutes a day meditating and incorporating more exercise. Overall, setting time aside for yourself at a rigorous school can be really difficult, but in the long run, it can be really beneficial.